what is an interferometer, and why would I need one? The geometry of physical contact connector end faces plays an important role in the performance of fiber optic connectors. With precision single mode connectors, controlling parameters such as radius of curvature, offset of the polish relative to the center of the fiber, known as apex offset, and fiber height relative to the ferrule surface during the polishing process leads to optimized performance. Although these are mainly concerns for the connector manufacturer, those who install or repair fiber optic systems must be familiar with them in order to troubleshoot problems that may arise. If these parameters stray too far from the optimal values, network performance will suffer. Another important issue is the need to verify the type of polish used in legacy installations where many higher reflectance PC and SPC polishes were originally installed. Today, less reflective polishes are normally required so the old connectors must be identified and replaced. The interferometer is the only instrument that can analyze, map, and document the physical surface geometry of a ferrule end face to determine its suitability for use in a fiber optic system. Any defects are easily discovered, so corrective action can be taken if necessary. Optical interferometry is a non-contact measurement technique that relies on the interference between two beams of light. Optical interference occurs when two coherent beams of light overlap. Michelson interferometers form interference fringes by dividing light from a source into two beams using a beam splitter. One beam bounces off a reference mirror. The other beam reflects from the connector end face. The beams are then recombined by the beam splitter and imaged onto a camera where interference fringes become visible. The circular fringes are like the contours of a topographical map. The reference mirror is mounted on an actuator that moves it by very precise amounts to vary the wavefront phase difference between the light from the object and the reference mirror. Images are taken with a series of different phase amounts, typically 90 degrees between frames, and are then algebraically combined using various algorithms to generate a precise phase map of the surface. This phase map is then converted to a three-dimensional image, which can be displayed and used to provide very accurate information about the surface being inspected. The instrument can be used in manufacturing environments, while lightweight portable options like FIBO interferometers are excellent for field testing as well. Industry standards describe how to measure the three-dimensional properties of a ferrule end face. The three main properties measured are radius of curvature, apex offset, and fiber height relative to the ferrule surface. Ferrule end faces are domed to ensure the contact area between mating connectors is at the center of the ferrule where the axis of the fiber core is located. The radius of this dome is called the radius of curvature. If the radius is too small, there will be a smaller contact area between fibers which places more force on the fibers during mating. If the radius is too large, physical contact between the fibers may not be achieved due to a larger contact area. Fiber height is the difference in height of the center of the fiber and the theoretical height of the ferrule where its center would be if its end face were a continuous sphere. Standards allow fiber height to vary depending on the measured radius of curvature. Apex offset is a measure of the distance between the center of the convex curve of the polished ferrule end face and the center of the fiber. The center of the fiber should be the highest point on the end face to ensure contact between mating fibers. For angled PC connectors, there are two additional parameters to be considered. They are angle and key error. There are no international standards that cover the tolerance for the angle of an APC connector. It is assumed that if the apex offset is optimum when the connector is at the desired angle, then angle tolerance is not an issue because the point of contact will be at the fiber core for that angle. Key error is a measure of the orientation of the end face angle with respect to the connector key. If the error is too great, the ferrules will not line up properly during mating, resulting in an air gap between the two. The importance of these parameters in physical contact connectors demand that 100% of end face geometry be inspected. Slight variations in ferrule dimensions, hardness as well as differences in polishing components and processes can have a profound influence on the quality of end-face geometry.
the interferometer, because it completely maps the three-dimensional contours of a ferrule end face with nanometer resolution, is the only instrument capable of verifying these critical parameters.